Hans Wilsdorf, the company's founder, was correct when he designed his logo as a crown, Rolex has remained the most popular watch brand for almost a century. Its enormous brand equity is partly because Rolex gives so little away, a key to its mystique. It is a regular top performer in UK super brand surveys and ranks on Forbes' list of the most powerful brands worldwide. Ask 100 people to name a luxury watch and most of them will say Rolex. So, in today's video, let's speak about the best Rolex watches in 2023. Before moving on, there is a small reminder, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any newly uploaded videos. And hang on till the end of this video. Number 1. Rolex Air King Not long after the GMT Master made its public appearance, the first commercially available Rolex Air King debuted in 1958. These were the glory days of smoking cigarettes in first-class Pan Am seats. However, the original Air King was created in the golden age of flight of the 1930s, when pilots were improving aircraft engineering and commercial flight was still merely a dream. Though it was constructed significantly more simply than the GMT Master, the original Air King had bigger 3, 6, and 9 numerals. Now, celebrating its 65th year, the Air King has undergone several evolutions. During the time, somewhere in the 80s and 90s, the Air King was known as a starter Rolex with an $800 price tag. However, their value has increased dramatically with some going for as much as $19K on the secondary market. That's a big sum of money. Number 2. Rolex Submariner Anyone waiting for Rolex to release a completely new watch could be waiting some time. The Sky Dweller was the last model that Rolex introduced. Before that, the Yachtmaster. Before that, the Sea Dweller. Rolex's current watch lines are modified gradually. This appears to be a successful business strategy for them. It explains why news of a retooled Submariner, arguably Rolex's single most iconic design, was one of the biggest watch releases of 2020. Even though you'd need a microscope and a degree in horology to spot any updates, the first changes since 2008. However, the tweaks aren't insignificant. You receive the latest escapement, a new caliber, and a power reserve that is over 50% larger. Number 3. Rolex Oyster Perpetual The classic Rolex Oyster was first introduced in 1926. The tight sealing qualities of an Oyster provided the basis for the name of the first waterproof watch. The word perpetual, which describes Rolex's unique self-winding movement, first appeared a few years later. Conjoined, the term Oyster Perpetual is found across nearly every Rolex dial, signifying that all models are based on the waterproof Oyster case and have an automatic mechanism with perpetual winding. Number 4. Rolex Sky Dweller In contrast to many of the watches on our list, the Rolex Sky Dweller is a relatively new timepiece. Even though it was first released in 2012, the Sky Dweller has a technical and stylish quality that can only come from more than a century of research and development at Rolex. Here, the term Sky Dweller refers to a world traveler rather than a pilot. So, the Sky Dweller was built for modern travel, featuring a complex dial that, however busy it may be, conveys an intuitive dual time zone. However, the Sky Dweller is still a status symbol to wear, even with its short lifespan and high millimeter count. Tom Cruise wears one, as does Jack Harlow. Then there's Michael Jordan and LeBron James, who both wear it proudly. Number 5. Rolex Datejust The Rolex Datejust is a valuable timepiece that should not be ignored, even if it's apparent commonly. When the Datejust was introduced to the market in 1945, it was innovative, and its automatically adjusting date window is still a useful piece of technology today. In fact, this watch, which initially debuted to celebrate Rolex's 40th anniversary, holds the title of being Rolex's best-selling watch of all time. It is available in an endless variety of colors, metals, and variations. There's something for everyone, with many collectors calling the Date Just the Watch that kicked off their luxury watch collection. It's challenging to count the number of renowned owners. It has been worn by everyone, including David Beckham, Rihanna, and Martin Luther King Jr. Wow! Wow! Number 6. Rolex Daytona 
Sure, a vintage Daytona would undoubtedly make you a rich person like Paul Newman. He sold his 1968 model for $17.8 million at auction in 2017, and it is still the most expensive wristwatch ever. If you're looking for the most advanced chronograph Rolex has ever produced, then this recent version is a perfect blend of old and new. Everyone loves this watch because of its history and excitement. Number 7. Rolex Yachtmaster When Rolex introduced the first Yachtmaster in 1992, it outperformed the Submariner with a watch meant to be worn above the water, in a yacht. As its name suggested, the Yachtmaster provided a little more premium option for individuals, those looking to kick their feet up on wooden decks, preferring the feel of linen over neoprene. Initially available in 18 karat white gold, this watch is notably more upscale and has expanded to include models like the Yachtmaster II, which debuted in 2007, that are offered in other precious metals like yellow gold and platinum. Number 8. Rolex Daydate Rolex introduced the Daydate in 1957. This revolutionary watch might show both the date and the day of the week, as opposed to only the date as the date just does. Adding to the flex, the day date was only offered in precious metal and included a brand new three-piece link bracelet. Lyndon B. Johnson was famous for wearing this watch, along with other wealthy men, Warren Buffett and Donald Trump also wear this watch. However, celebrities like Emily Ratajkowski, Tony Soprano, Drake, Rihanna, and even the Dalai Lama use it. Number 9. Rolex Explorer Contrary to popular belief, Sir Edmund Hillary was in fact not wearing a Rolex Explorer when he conquered Everest in 1953. It was an Oyster Perpetual. Nevertheless, the feat led to the introduction of a new Oyster Perpetual model named the Explorer, which had a bigger case size and was marketed by Rolex to a new generation of fans for mid-century mountaineering. Because of its affordability, the Explorer eventually evolved into an entry-level Rolex sports model and it still holds that designation today. Like all Rolex models, the Explorer has undergone multiple updates. More recent variants, such as the 14270, are now well-liked by antique enthusiasts due to the fact that their tritium luminescence has finally turned beige. With a 40mm diameter as of 2023, the watch is bigger than it has ever been. Number 10. Rolex Explorer 2. A spelunking watch? That's right. The boldly luminescent 24-hour GMT hand was included to help those living in caves keep track of day and night. Although spelunking isn't exactly a popular sport, people who enjoy stylish watches with GMT capabilities have loved the Explorer 2. Introduced in 1971, the Explorer 2 is still available today with a black or white dial. However, the spelunking history is largely forgotten, as the watch increasingly serves as a tool for adventurers of all kinds. Though the Explorer 2 went from a tasty 40mm case up to a 42mm super case in 2011, the reference to 16570 was intended to celebrate the original design of 1971, which amounts to an orange GMT hand in the correct arrow shape. However, those two extra millimeters don't feel like much on the wrist and only become noticeable when compared side by side with a 40 millimeter model. Now we are headed to the end of this video. Thank you for being to the end of the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and tell us what you think about this video below in the comments section. Let's meet again with an interesting video.